AWS region and availability zone. So any of the cloud service provider having the region is important because the where the uh, actual data center are located is a uh, core important for the latency and uses. So let's try to understand region. Uh, AWS have the region all around the world. So you might have the word uh, listen that US East one, US East two, uh, kind of. So it's kind of the code for the uh, your region. So US East one is the Oregon, so it's located in USA. So there are the uh, different region in your world. So that's created by the AWS. So that will see the in uh, infrastructure details for the AWS. Uh, each region having the multiple availability zone, kind of the. Uh, code could be the US East 1A, uh, 1B and 1C. So at least two uh, availability zone having the each region and there are the some uh, region having the more than three availability zones. So availability zone is represent the physical data center in the region and that, that are completely uh, isolated, physically isolated from the each availability zone. So it's completely disaster, uh, disaster recovery where the data center are kept uh, having the different location, having the different uh, distance. So each Amazon service is having the region selection except uh, IAM and S3. So that two services are the globally accessible for the all region and the all uh, service having the region selection. So that we'll see in console but before that we'll uh, try to see the infrastructure of the region of AWS. So it, this is uh, um, the page where the global infrastructure are represented by the AWS. So why the global infrastructure matter that is explained over here. But you can see that the AWS cloud span the 69 availability zone within the 22 geographical region in the world. So there are 22 regions and they are planned three more region in this year. So and nine more availability zones. So this is the news from the AWS. So this is the map where the all region are located. So this the uh, dot is represent the region. So it's having the uh, region having the two availability zone. So here you can Oregon, you can see there's a four availability zone. So this is the Sao Paulo having the three availability zone. So these are the different having the different that's Paris and the Australia, Sydney. So there are the green, uh, this uh, orange color is having uh, displaying that uh, this availability zone are, uh, the region are coming the very soon. So if you want to deploy your application and if you are located by the Australia, then you should choose the Australia region and if you are located in the Europe then you should choose your region as a Europe because it will make the different impact on the latency. So let's go to the console where you'll see the region. So this is the re region option over here you can see that this different region uh, that's a North Virginia, uh, Ohio, California, Oregon, Hong Kong, Mumbai, Singapore, Sydney, Tokyo and these all are the regions. So each region having the availability zone that will not find over here for selection. So that is the configuration part when some of the service having the uh, availability zone you have to choose for the data center. So uh, as, as I asked that so there are some service having the uh, no selection for the region. So this is the IM service I am opening here. So I am means the identification access management. Having the no region selection, you can see that's a global. So it's not belongs to the any of region. That's why uh, it, here is no option for the selection. So kind of the all the rest of service having the option to choose the region. Only accept the identification access management and S3. So this is all about the region and availability zone. Uh, in next session, we will uh, uh, start the working on the IAM access and management, management, how to create the user, how to make the MFA, how to create the role and policy.